The capsule is Felix Baumgartner's most essential safety barrier against a hostile environment where there is not enough oxygen and pressure to survive. It is a progression of the capsule that Joe Kittinger had back in 1960 with added new high-tech elements. I went up in an open gondola and Felix is going up in a very sophisticated space capsule uh, built by Art Thompson. And uh, so he, he, he's going up in luxury. I mean, he's going up in a Cadillac uh, the way he's going up by comparison to what we did 51 years ago. So there, there's a lot of similarities on our jump, but there's also some differences. The skeleton is made of chrome molybdenum steel, a solid component used for mountain bikes as well as stock car racers. It supports the overall capsule and provides the load-bearing framework for the attachment of the balloon. Sometimes we work towards an item for safety purposes only to find out that um, building something in for safety might actually create an unsafe situation. So we have to be cautious about um, putting something in for the sake of safety, safety that could create a problem. Um, so it's a juggling, a balancing act of figuring out what makes the best sense. Physics dictates that the survival cell must be a sphere of fiberglass. The size is about six feet or 183 centimeters with a four foot 122 centimeter door so Felix can climb out. Both the door and windows allow for maximum visibility. The sphere is pressurized, so Felix Baumgartner's pressure suit can remain deflated during the ascent, which makes temperature regulation much easier for him. Well, when you depressurize that capsule, you figure this is serious now. As long as you're in that capsule, you're in that suit, you got double protection. So it's a redundant system. But as soon as you depressurize that capsule, that, that capsule and you can feel in your stomach and in, in every part of your body, you can feel now um, the inside becomes ambient with, ambient with the outside air, and you can feel your body does not want to be there. The exterior of the capsule is insulated foam, built to protect the capsule from brutally cold temperatures during the ascent to jump altitude. The shape of the capsule is reminiscent of the Apollo capsules that help stow away all necessary items, such as batteries and oxygen tanks, that are unaffected by the absence of the atmosphere, unlike other essential items. The reason for that is that um, some of the electronics have capacitors, um, different components inside. When you take them into a total vacuum, uh, capacitors tend to expand or explode. So, um, the pressure vessels on board are going to help protect that. The eight-foot diameter button of the capsule is the broadest and sturdiest part of the vessel, providing protection in the form of a base panel and crush pads, essential elements in making a landing possible without destroying the capsule. The capsule is ready. It is now up to Felix. As soon as I step into the capsule and everybody's giving me a go, because the wind is okay, the capsule does the job, and everything looks nice and smooth, you know. Um, in my mind, I'm ready. 